hello Aquarius this is going to be your reading for your month ahead even true that this is going to be your April reading remember you can see this whenever so it is going to be timeless take what resonates leave the rest flip the roles always use your intuition so I am going to lay the cards out and then we are going to start out with your reading. You do have the awakening and the transcendence. You do also have to speak up and the wisdom. So the first thing that I feel is that you are going through a huge awakening. You are seeing things in a new way. You are learning things in a new way. You are receiving messages in a new way. I do feel that you are starting out believing more in the unseen. You are starting out believing more in like energies, maybe even the spiritual, the law of attraction, the universe, God, whatever it is that you believe in, but like a hidden way of receiving messages. I do feel that you are receiving new knowledge and you are receiving new abilities. Now that you do have the speak up card, I do feel there is something that you need to speak up about. And the first thing is that you might love someone and you might not speak up about it. This can also be another situation. You can be another sign watching for Aquarius. So you can be the person waiting for someone to speak up about their love. If you're dealing with someone who didn't speak up yet, I do feel that they are being guided to do so. But a truth will come out. Now that we have on a Wednesday here, I do feel that um, something might happen on a Wednesday. Me maybe even the next Wednesday that we have for you. With the seven and the wisdom, there is a lot of spiritual energy here. So intuitively, there is a lot of messages. I do feel that you have received a lot of intuitive messages. Maybe some of you guys need to let go of a Leo even now that we have to reverse the Sun again I will say it when I see it but it's also this energy of not feeling happy or not feeling comfortable in the situation that you are in or again is the person that you're dealing with I do feel that some of you guys are dealing with an Aquarius who is who is not speaking up about something or who is not feeling happy in the situation maybe even unhappy in a marriage someone is not feeling the same way that they portray themselves or the way that they portray to the outside this might be you but this might also in other cases be the person that you are dealing with they are not letting you know what's going on they are not letting you know how they feel or again this can be you not letting someone know how you feel like the outside picture perfect maybe even it's not how it looks on the inside and i do feel that you are dealing with someone who's hiding their true self or again you are hiding your true self like what is it that you actually want do you love the right person do you want to be with someone else do you believe in the right things do you believe in the same things do you believed in before do you work with the right job you do need to realize that your soul is turning up this pressure that you have inside of you because you are hiding and because that you want to be honest you want to reveal yourself you want to you know feel good again this can be you or this can be someone that you're dealing with but someone here is not feeling good about their situation and i do feel that some of you guys are dealing with a person who is feeling this way maybe you are even dealing with a leo maybe you are a leo this can be whatever zodiac sign. This is just the energy of the reading that I see here. That you might also be dealing with someone who's together with someone else that they're not happy with. But whatever the case, someone here is being guided to be authentic in, you know, communication. So you need to be authentic or they, you know, want to. They are being guided to be authentic. Because it's going to open up for the true intimacy of this relationship or the bond between both of you. Because I do feel this is two people. And I do feel that you know that there is some kind of false appearance to this other person. 
Or again, this can also be you, that you are not betraying to the outside world how you actually feel on the inside. This can be love, this can also be how you feel with yourself, how, what you want to become, who you want to become, what you want to do, what you want to believe in. You do need to learn to express your emotions and not suffer, because right now someone here is suffering. You do need to recognize the feelings that you want to put out. And you need to create this direct contact or communication with this person. Someone, I do believe someone wants to have this communication with you, but for some reason it's so hard for them to waken up and let this happen. But I do feel that they are wakening up, they are transforming into what's going to align the communication and the new in intimacy. The thing is that you, or again the person that you are dealing with, needs to let their heart speak and not their mind because they are too much, you know, logically thinking. The thing is they are not listening to what, the, you know, the heart actually wants to speak out. And that's why that you or the person you're dealing with is going to this awakening. This is what's going to create this new bridge for new communication. And the beautiful thing here is that now that you have a dragon card, the dragon always sees one's most true self. It's able to balance out the ego. And I do feel that the ego stops someone from speaking up, from being, you know, the authentic person to tell you what's going on or you to tell someone else what's going on. The dragon sees everything. And you have had the essence within yourself all along, like this essence of actually being true to yourself and actually balancing out the ego. You have that within yourself to, to be truthful. Or again, you know, it, it, it does have two energies here because it can also be the person that you're dealing with. But also you, again, if you're dealing with someone who's not speaking up, you have the wisdom within yourself to actually understand why things are going slowly or why things need to take the time that it needs. And there is a lot of energy when it comes to this awakening because the dragon also has energy of, you know, being awakened. So you actually have it two times in the reading already. Whatever is going on right now is going to make it easier for you to get into your consciousness because your consciousness is where you put the seed, it's where you imagine. It's important for you to understand that everything that you put into your consciousness is going to grow. No matter if this is a bad seed, if this is like a flower or if this is, you know, a bad flower. Or weed, what you call that. No matter what it is that you put into your mind right now, it's going to grow. It's going to become your reality. And I do also feel that you are being called in to actually look into the mirror and see the true your true self, what you actually want, who you actually want to become. Because there is the energy, and I did get spirit chills when I said that, there is the energy of hiding, not being who you want to be, not speaking up about your feelings. And it might be the key factor in a relationship here. This relationship can bloom if none of you are true to yourself about who you want to become. You might be scared that the other person doesn't like you for who you are and the other person is feeling the same way. Like it's actually silly because the other person like you for who you are and you like the other person for who they are. And both of you need to realize that. And you might not feel that you have the strength to really go through this. Like it, your strength actually turns to weakness here. And you are avoiding, you know, this like you don't want to take the risk. Like you're avoiding the risk because that you don't believe that it's going to yeah, you, the spirit just pointed out to me that you don't believe that the seed that you plant in this relationship can bloom. You don't believe that this seed can bloom up, which makes, you know, it makes perfect sense now that you have the reverse sun, like also with, you know, the, um, the flowers and you have the message of earth. Like, if you want to plant something, you have to put it down in earth. So you have to put this image in your conscious mind 
that this can work, this can bloom, this is real before that it can become real because if you tell yourself that it's not real or it can't become real then that's what you're going to grow that's what you planted there is a lot of conflicts it's this undecisive energy and obviously you know air sign Aquarius you still have this energy of being very undecisive you might even you know again should I plant this seed should I go for it should I speak up should I show my true colors should I again like the rainbow should I show my true colors if you want to show your true colors if you want to show who you have become I do feel that you're dealing with someone who's actually like bloomed up like this is a new person you might not have seen this person's true colors fully they want to show it but they are also afraid of maybe acting silly or being you know you might be dealing with someone who's act always acting silly always making jokes and you might be someone who might be very serious or take things serious so the other person is afraid to actually turn this switch of being very silly to also being serious like you are like both of you have the same energy but at the same time you <sighs> you are afraid to show the true energy that you have some of you guys might also be dealing with finances right now and that's also something you might be afraid to speak up about but i do feel that no matter what the case the other person is going to understand the situation and now that we have it actually makes sense because the rainbow card symbolizes the seven steps of the true spiritual path and that path manifests as colors you know your seven chakras so it makes sense that that you are dealing with someone who is awakened someone who is waking up to another path another belief system um, believing in themselves again this can also be you like you both of you are waking up to this new energy this to this new awakening to this new path spiritual path and in some cultures the rainbow body is seen as a full realization of your own essence so your own spirit the rainbow also represents the bridge between the physical and the spiritual world so i do feel that you watching this you are becoming awakened to a very powerful energy but at the same time you are dealing with someone who is also going through this but i also feel that if someone out there is not dealing with someone else um, again you can be both you can also be dealing with someone else but I do feel that you need to speak up about your spirituality because it might be something that's a little tricky because you don't feel that people would understand it this can again also be the person that you're dealing with for some reason I just very quickly saw a dog here that came to visit but it was on very quickly but it was a fluffy what well, like um light brown hair like long like fluffy long almost curly brown hair but it was just very quick and it was gone again so i don't know if it's you know someone's dog out there but it was just a very quick i really turned my head because i was like what was that <laughs> That might be a sign for some of you guys in some way. But when the rainbow card appears, it is this kind of affirmation that all is well and that you are going in the right direction. Especially when it comes to spirituality, when it comes to your own spirit, spirit your higher self. It's actually pretty amazing because you are going in the right direction, but you need to speak up or someone needs to speak up about something. I do feel that is all I can give you for today. I hope you could use this information. Let me know in a comment below. Also remember to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.